Hello my darlings and darklings, welcome back to the Simply Witchery YouTube channel. My name is Lethe, they're them, and today I am bringing the air signs uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, their readings for this month. Um, let's get into this, the, uh, <laughs> Let's get into the disclaimers so that we can get into the reading. First of all, make sure you check in with your sun, moon, and rising sign because you are not just your sun sign and you'll get a more complete picture if you check in with all three. And second of all, this is a general reading so not everything will resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, this month I am using the Fifth Spirit Tarot for our tarot deck. I love this deck. It's super queer, super beautiful in love. And I am also using the Witches of Legend Oracle for our Oracle uh, deck. This deck literally just came in the mail like an hour ago. I filmed the walkthrough and now I'm filming this. So um, I'm definitely going to have to do a pause and a cut um, to read the guidebook because it's brand new and what are guidebooks for if not to guide us? So, you know. Alright, so with that, Air Signs, let's find your Oracle card for the month. Let's see, where is it? It's this one. Let's see. Ooh, another Norse goddess. Freya. Come on, Freya, focus. You can do it, girl. I believe in you. There she is. Oh, gorgeous. This deck is gorgeous. Um, no, yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd have to read the guidebook for Freya because... I know a lot about North mythology. Well, not a lot. I know enough about North Norse mythology, but we're gonna we're gonna read it anyway. Freya. Where do I even start with her? She's just powerhouse is the first word that comes to mind. This month is all about figuring out how you can be a badass powerhouse because Freya, beautiful, strong, beyond powerful, a amazing warrior as well as being the most beautiful thing that uh you know ever existed <laughs> so like i feel like for you air signs you're gonna channel some of that freya energy be all things you contain multitudes be all things be like freya in that way embrace all aspects of yourself because you're not just one thing you are multitudes you're many things and you can be all of those things at once if that's what you want to do and that's the best way to live life you know is to embrace all parts and all aspects of yourself at, as often as you can I want to say at all times but that's not always possible uh, we all have bad days but you know as often as it is possible embrace that powerhouse multifaceted being that you are um, yeah, so that's kind of the, the overarching theme for the air signs. Freya. Praise be to her. Amen. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know where the amen came from. But praise be to her, that's for sure. Anyway, where are, where are Gemini's cards? Let's start with Gemini. This one. This one? No. This one? No. <laughs> Hang on. This one. This one. This one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have. Ooh. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles, the Seven, yes, Seven of Cups, and Justice. Beautiful. We love to see it. Um, so, I think these, these feel like things for you to focus on um, as you embrace the many facets of yourself. Um, quality over quantity is like my big thing whenever I see the um, the eight of pentacles it's quality over quantity so don't don't feel like you have to have every aspect of yourself forward at all times like you don't have to do that when you're embracing every aspect of yourself what you want to do ooh 
Ooh, okay. You want to spend some time, Gemini, defining who you are for yourself. Um, this is something I've been working on doing as well, so this this is speaking to me right now. Uh, like, for example, I defined myself, I'm an artist, I'm um, empathetically honest, and I'm relentlessly passionate. So, and then I would, you know, I'm a writer, um, and I like to... Uh, cognitively restructure through writing. So I wrote um, just like a few, a little, a couple of short little paragraphs about why I am these things and how I display these things in my life. Um, so you don't have to just like grab for every hat that's given to you. Pick up the things that feel true in your body and in your mind and in your spirit about yourself and really focus on those in the coming months um, and really internalize those great powers of yourself and really recognize them, celebrate them, um, and use them, move toward them, you know, all those great things. And then with with justice, we're gonna do justice first. Um, with justice, this is about taking action and doing something with those truths that you discover about yourself and those defining elements of yourself. Um, do something with them. Change the world because you can. Because you've got the power, you've got the strength, you've got the ability. Um, change the world, even if it's just your world that's still changing the world and that's still important and awesome and incredible. Um, it doesn't have to be the whole world. It can just be your world that you change. Um, and that's still badass. Um, yeah. And then with the Seven of Cups. Ooh. I'm hearing the word explore with this. I feel like you really need to get out of your bubble. Um, take some time. Because I think we all define ourselves. Like, from... From children, we we choose ways or we are told ways in which we are supposed to define ourselves. Um, and I think that you need to refocus the words you use to define yourself. Because um, I feel like you're defining yourself not correctly. I don't want to say wrong, but not kindly, not honest, honestly, not truthfully. I think uh, your insecurity is coming into the way that you define yourself, and you have to put that insecurity aside and find the truth instead. Um, and if you can't do that by yourself, that's fine. Um, ask the person you trust most and say, hey, can you just tell me some, like, things that I'm good at or some nice things about myself or the things that you see um, that I do that are amazing to you. Um, and that requires some vulnerability that can be difficult, but um, write down everything they say and look at it every so often and and see what pops out to you when you look at it and be like, yeah, they're they're right, that's true. And then, you know, internalize it. Um, I feel very much like this is just this is just the time to change your world, but it's it's gonna be very paradigm shifting, very world shifting for you right now. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I've got for you. Um Yeah. Wow, that's big. That's awesome though. So let's see. Uh, hang on. Let me organize myself here really quick. Uh, okay. Cool. That was my reading for Gemini. Uh, Libra, let's see, where are your cards, Libra? Uh, 
Okay, Libra, for you I pulled the Emperor, the Four of Wands. Come on, focus. You can do it. I believe in you. Focus. There you go. Wait, did I say four? Yeah, four of wands. <laughs> and the six of wands. So for you, Libra, right now, there's one thing that you need to be concerned about. You need to celebrate yourself. You need to celebrate what you have accomplished, what you have survived, what you have done. Um, yeah, all of these cards say to me, like, step into the spotlight, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a hug, and be like, I did an amazing, incredible, wonderful job, and I should and am proud of myself, um, and share those victories with the people you love. Um, be like, hey, I did this thing, and I'm really proud about it, uh, let's celebrate it together, um, and just enjoy your life for a little bit, Libra, because you've worked really hard. And you need to take some time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, because when you when you don't enjoy what you've done and you don't celebrate the things you've accomplished, they become empty. And we don't want that for you. We want you to be full. We want you to be the emperor. We want you to live in this full abundance and enjoy it. Um, enjoy what you've created for yourself. Enjoy what you've built for yourself. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy who you are. And enjoy it with the people you love. Yeah. That's all you need to be concerned about this month. Um, no, it's not all. But that's the big thing. Take intentional time to do that, Libra, because it's it'll, it'll be good for you. Feed your soul. Um, yeah. That's all. <laughs> that's all I got for you right now, Libra. Um, yeah, I love you. Have a great month. Enjoy yourself. Um, so, Aquarius. Aquarius, let's find your cards. This one? This one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Okay. So, excuse me. Aquarius, for you, I pulled the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands. Is it in focus? I literally can't tell. Is it? Is it focus? I hope that was in focus. And the Page of Swords. So for you, Aquarius, this month, keeping the boss, the boss babe energy of Freya that we had with the Oracle card, um, with the Three of Wands, we are going to want to look to the future, um, decide the things you want, think about the things you want to um, strive towards, set some goals, set some boundaries that will help you achieve those goals, I'm hearing. Um, and then with the Two of Wands, step into step into your power, use your power, um, embody Freya, and be the boss. Be the boss of your own life. Be the boss of yourself. Um, that's not to say don't listen to anyone else because you need... I'm hearing be the queen, king, royal of your court. Be the one in charge. Be the one who makes the final decisions for yourself. Um, but have that court around you. Have your advisors. Have your trusted people. Have your loved ones around you. And listen to their advice and make your own decisions. So li actively listen, hear what they have to say, decide if what their opinions are align with what you want for your life, and then make your choice and do the thing. And then step into the Page of Swords and go. You'll have, you'll have gotten that... Um, new information that you'll that you feel like you need right now and you'll be able to move forward because I feel like you're kind of stuck in something right now um this is what I'm hearing so hold court if you have to do this literally and just like sit your loved ones down around a table sit your loved ones down around a table or like a virtual table or whatever um and ask ask for their opinions ask to talk it out um, and then with that information, move forward. 
um, because sitting down and thinking about it by yourself isn't enough because you've already tried that and you need the you need the wisdom of your court and of your um, of your trusted advisors so if you if you want to do it all in a group if you want to do it individually whatever you need to do to get the information and the wisdom that you need to move forward do that and then move forward and be a boss embody Freya you got this because you have the people in your life that you need you've got them already um, and with them you'll be able to move forward so that brings me to the end of my readings for the air signs this month um, thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what resonated with you um, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me I don't have a posting schedule right now but um, we'll have one eventually I'll be posting again hopefully regularly now we'll see we'll see I'm being loose with it we'll see how it goes um, uh, yeah so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye